in my time With a heavy load Don't worry I'm still trucking down the road Third, don't know if you can hear it But we've had peeper frogs And getting some real nice warm weather For the beginning of March Coming in like a lamb So we hoping it goes out like a lion With some gully washers To flood everything out I can already tell it's got a little bit of tip missing, but it's ancient. And I, uh, that's a crying shame because that is a really nicely made one. Super nice material. Little bitty sedalia. Probably would have been a little over three and a half, it all been whole. Mm. We still take it though. Well, it is April 10th. Look at him. And we're finally back he, to a little screen and some dirt. One. And here's a nice little Etley on top of my screen. Can you imagine that after a month and a half? Yeah, it's been a while. It's been kind of tough on us lately. But hey, I'll take that. Shoot chill. Well, I have to get some water, clean it up. But Good job. Mr. That'll work. Son. Thank you, Great Spirit, and thank you, Late Archaic Culture. Soon up or later, I'll get well, to up here at the DH today, Richard already found a point. And look, I just throwed a clump down. We need it to rain. Dirt's starting to get hard, getting big clumps. Throwed it down, and this popped right out of that clump. I was like, man, I hope I didn't pop that tip off there, nope. but nope. Yeah, nice banded bullseye, Jeff City Church, Little Etley. Two days in a row. Two days in a row. Three days for you. I need to get some videos up. Here we are. A couple Been... months later since the last time you've seen us. I'm sure we look younger. <laughs> Been a while. We're finally over in some undug dirt. Look at and... the color. Holy moly. Well, look at you go. That's a nice that Etley. That is a nice Etley. Got the cortex on that one side. Both ears are gone, but they probably did that. Well, awesome possum. Let me get this pink thing I just found. You know, we've got some other pieces. I just found this pink one that's broken. And then this one here. And that one's a piece of Burlington. Got the base broke off right there. And everything and else. Got a couple preforms, a couple ads. Look at this ads I got right here. Oh, yeah. And I'll show you on the cleanup. Look at this flake. We got the same outer cortex. They come out of the same clump of dirt. All right, Brooksy. It's a well, Brooksy and I are up here at the DH. We're off over the side of the hill. And this is my first one of the day. We're getting close to being. That's a nice one. Not bad at all. Nope, not bad at all. I'll take that and two more. We got to about 11 o'clock and the sun hits the outside table. The ears just worked off there. I thought it was broke. Now that I get there. Here's the sun. But it's a hell of a load. So I take it. No, well, it's 10 o'clock. The sun hits this screen at 11. We're trying to be ahead of it because it's going to be hot. But that's hot. hot that's hot, hot. pink. Let me pick that up. No. That's <laughs> hot pink. Well, that's going to be pretty. Boy, it is. I love that, that side. Look at that. Out. It's orange and red on that side. As cool as could be. Killer piece of mozarka. That's what that is. Get out <laughs> of my dirt. It has been a tough summer. We've been dry, 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 dry and hot, hot humid, dog. and I just found one, of course, that's why we got the camera on. Look at that tip. What's that one? That's supposed to be the live action one. <laughs> it's broke. Dang. Look at that. But look at that. Look dude. at the stack on the back of it. Oh. Stack of dirt. That's an awesome one. Yeah. 
but that'll be nice cleaned up. I'll get the broken one. I got the broken one. I'm happy though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to have my choice. Boy, it's been a while since we had a day like this. Yeah, it's always trying to outdo me, folks. <laughs> yeah. See a shirt? I'm in the chips. I'm hey, the Jeff. Chips. That's a Jeff shirt. Look at that beauty. I wonder if anybody's ever named their daughter Amber Chips. <laughs> Amber Chips. Yeah, look at that. Nice That's a ugly. nice point, Brooksy. Congratulations. Nice quality material. Nicely made. You had a, you're, you're working behind a talented Indian. We like them talented paleo people. They were all paleolithic. This is a lithic. I'm hurrying. He's hurrying, hurrying, hurrying. folks. We're recording. All right. Hey, this is the very first screen. Still got most of it left. I just seen this man kill a snake with his bare hands. <laughs> <laughs> copperhead. It was a copperhead. Come right out from underneath my screen. Well, maybe he used a rock. But he used his bare hands to throw the rock. Look that's at that. Nice Look how it's worked down. It. Yeah, that's cool. That is like a little be. rocket ship. I'll be darned. That's a cool start. Yep, Chris. Awesome possum. Way to start the morning, Richard. Can you believe that? Sun's coming up. We're going to have to be quick about ourselves. I mean, he's... Yeah, that's cool. Huh. We've been finding a lot this morning. That's Richard's pile. It's a nice little pointed at Lee. And I actually juked this one out over there across the compound about 100 yards away, but didn't have my camera. And only that much of it was showing. Found that adds on the surface, poked out that tip. This here was an almost, and then I just found almost a killer, but it's got parts and pieces missing. Richard, where is my arrowhead at? I got to try to steal my arrowhead. <laughs> Look at him over there laughing behind his cedar tree. I'll bet cedar tree brought you ants, fire ants. Such a shame, but that's digging camp life. They broke every tool they made, almost. They broke more of them than more of them got left hold behind, that's for sure. But this is a nice preform. Here's half of a Sedalia preform. That's not the shape of no knife. An Etley, Smetley style preform. Today is July 23rd. Hopefully I can make this clean up without it not taking forever. But there's still stuff from last year that needs to put organized away, but until I get my upstairs rooms done. I'm not really organizing any more of it until I get new tubs and stuff for all the brokes and somewhat some different tools and stuff. They can be organized in something other than uh, USPS flat rate boxes. <laughs> Most of this is summer. This is actually that Sedalia that I found back in early spring. Old tip damage. There's that decently I found back. I think that was either the end of March or in April. Speaking of April, lost quite a few videos due to losing my uh, previous phone while out mushroom hunting. And then the rest of these have all been summer screening. So is all of that stuff from there over. <clears throat> this come from a spot before the dirt got real hard on us. That was all untouched ground. Right next to some old pre-dug piles. Really nice piece of quartzite. Actually it's 
quartzite and ellipsoidal Jeff City chert mixed together. Outer cortex still on it. This here's a little killer. It's quartzite too. Old tip damage. I don't know if you can see the mineral deposits on there, but trust me, they're there. But it's not often that you see a lot of banded quartzite, or especially what bullseyes in it. So it's actually a pretty killer piece. Oh, I'm gonna have to sit on my butt on this concrete, I guess. Where are we at? Two and a half minutes. Old classic Coke bottle blade of an Atlee. Then it has a slight bulbous base. Rough inclusion that was inside the stone. That's not actually cortex. You find it in high quality material sometimes. A really rough quartzitic sedalia, nadalia, part Nebo Hill, part sedalia. A rough inclusion inside the nodule. Oh, got this little broke over here. Here's a cool quartzite point, one I just recently found. Nicely made. I had that little hinge on that side right there. And it is rough, piffy, piffy quartzite. So you know he was an age skill napper. One put out by dad instead of one put out by junior. <laughs> Here's a nice looking point. Oh boy, and they've been coming out so dry caliche on the screens and that dry dirt, even out of the pre-dug piles. You can't even see what color they are sometimes till you get them home and get them washed up. This one here was actually a surface juke find. There was just this much tip sticking out. That I found, which reminds me, I forgot some a couple things inside. That's all right. I'll show them on the next cleanup. Really awesome preform. Always love finding whole preforms. And that tip's made like that. It's not broke or nothing, but that's because they had a. Put some secondary edge work on it. Got that tip a little closer in. And then put notches in her. Maybe another nick or two off the tip. A thin blade. But it's got a heck of a curvature to it. Then always finding a bunch of nice ads. They're just a classic tool. For the late archaic at least Sedalia culture. What was cool about this ads here, this was coming out of the same dirt this stuff here was, which was all, wasn't no pre-dug piles. I didn't show up in my blue pants right there. That's outer cortex. Over here, that is outer cortex. A lot of the mozarakite you find, that's true mozarakite, where it is red, pink, purple, orange to it has red outer cortex on the rock this one has a little bit of pink and some red in it and then it goes to some creamish like color well, this flake was in that same same clump of dirt so there's probably like a 99 98 high probability these came off of the same nodule deer probably or dogs are probably barking at the deer oh then there's always 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 all kinds of ads and this ads was a surface juke find one day but once in a while we find these this is a church cell the bit is directly in the center of the tool doesn't make any ads this would have been this is a broken sedalia preform you can tell by the shape of it, how thin it is, versus like this whole preform here. 
You hear little Bella? She makes some funny sounds. This is a piece of quartzite. What I'd call like a second stage preform. Mm. Oh, time to really another cool hammer stone. I mean, I have a lot more than just those laying around. See how this side's been faceted? And you can see the really good wear on the edges where they smacked it at. They didn't smack nothing on that side. Most of its use was right here on that edge and around this edge here. But you see how these are all heavily polished up on these sides and they do get faceted. <clears throat> they do that with these right here. These are all grinding stones. Grinding for platforms on preforms. Grinding these down. Same with making the regular hardstone tools. And these pitted anvils, lots of people call them nothing stones, go with these right here. These hammer stones, they take these nodules. Here's one that's been broke. Open in half is some rough quartzite, so that's probably why they left it after they broke it in half. We have hundreds of these. Literally hundreds. Man, we're going on nine minutes. So they take these, they put them there, and they hit those with those hammer stones on that dimple and break them open that's how you end up with a tool like this that still has outer cortex on it this probably came out of a small nodule a point like this that has outer cortex on one side probably came out of a very large nodule where the curvature was away from the point And there's always all kinds of other tidbits and what people would want to call heartbreakers, but really, when you are fully excavating a site, this is the kind of stuff you have to expect. Thousands and thousands of broke pieces, odd tools, preforms, broken preforms, a little bit of everything. Like, look at this. Here's a cool preform. They just barely, and this is all... This is all waterway tannic staining on here. Like all the chert nodules, like those or those, they picked them all up inside of waterways. That's where they came from. If you really want to know how those ended up in the waterways, study some ancient geology and it'll tell you exactly. But this was a thin nodule. Apparently they thought they was going to try and make a point out of it and just never got any farther than that. Well, we have about burnt up around here. My pompous grass is dead. Half of the yard grass is dead, but I've been trying to keep a little bit of it watered and having to water flowers and stuff. Hope everybody's doing well. Hopefully we'll start getting some rain and cooling off. It's been a hot, long, dry summer. I'm ready for fall to get here. Taking my time. We'll see y'all later. With a heavy load. But don't worry, I'm still trucking.